Okay, now here we have the connector that I did previously. Uh, it is not like this one where I let everything actually, uh, what's it called, liquefy onto the connector itself. Now, oh, and don't worry if I touch these, they're only charged leads, they're not hooked up to a battery. Uh, as you see, I let, I put more solder and I literally made it into a pool of solder within the connector. And right now, it is holding the whole connector in as well as the wire, so now it just has a complete connection. Now I'll heat this up. As you see, let's focus it. There we go. Oh, this magnifying glass makes it perfect. There we go. All right, let's get some more solder out here. All right, first, well, I have this to hold the wire to prevent it from falling and this clamp to prevent the connector from falling out so everything is secure as of now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to want to actually keep it on there until the whole surrounding area of the connector liquefies. As you see, it already is starting to liquefy up oh, and there we go. The previous solder actually went down under the wire so now what it's doing it's actually holding the wire in from the bottom. Now with that being said, let's put a little bit more solder on here. If it decides to, there we go. Let's keep putting it. Nice, just like that. Now it is still a pool, and that is, per that is just what I want to see right there because now the solder is gripping the wire all around it. All right. And, uh, hang on. There we go. I'll get a better view once it dries. I just don't want to touch it with my bare hands and hope this won't fall. There we go. All right. Yeah. Now that yellow, that is just rosin cords built in on the uh, on the solder that I use helps it bond. Now, hang on, let me adjust the brightness. There we go. Now that is a perfect solder job to me. Yeah, there could obviously be much better, but uh, you know, it's completely holding the wire in. There's nothing that is leaning out of the wire. So that is what you want to see. And here's my station. This is only a 30 watt iron. It's nothing huge. You do have to wait for it to get hot, but it's really this, I think 180 watt is just kind of overkill. That's like, uh, I don't know. I, that's just too big of a deal to work on these connectors to me. This just suited me perfectly. That's actually what I did to this other one. Uh, I got a little bit of solder on the right side. I'll clean that up. But yeah, thanks for watching.